on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula, we have passed a point where a new eruption could begin with little or no warning. The key piece of evidence involves the 5-kilometer depth body of magma centered about 1,100 meters south of the Sartsingi geothermal power plant. For the past 73 days, magma has been building in volume at the same constant rate, which has for the most part uplifted overlying ground. However, since December 30th, ground uplift has dramatically decreased, all the while the rate of intruding magma has remained the same. As a result of magma no longer pushing up overlying ground, it means that an increasing volume of molten rock is being forced into a small space. In other words, it is greatly building in pressure and is likely to fracture a weak point of rock to the east and suddenly drain in that direction via another magma run event. In other words, the Reckoners volcano now appears to be in the same exact state which it was on December 16th, a mere two days before an eruption began. Although the rate of earthquakes has not greatly increased in the last 100 hours, we cannot trust that an earthquake swarm will necessarily strike before an eruption begins. However, two clusters of low-magnitude earthquakes have emerged, one at the southwestern edge of the December 2023 lava field and one southwest of Stora Skogfell. These quakes appear to be volcanic in origin, and there is a zone in between them of lessened seismic activity. Thus, if an eruption does begin, which by the way is expected to happen sometime during the current month, one of these spots represents the most likely site for lava to first emerge. Since the southern of these two zones could lead to lava flowing into the evacuated town of Greenavik, there are plans to build a new lava wall barrier at the approximate location shown on the screen. The hope with this design is to direct lava to flow into a naturally low-lying area, hopefully not completely filling the outlying section before the eruption ends. Currently, we do not know how long the forecasted eruption will last for, or how it will precisely compare to the December 2023 eruption. However, we do know that such an eruption would occur in the Reckoners volcanic system, and if it follows their prior eruption, is most likely to be completely effusive. To hammer home a point about why the Reckoners volcano is far more potentially dangerous than the tourist-friendly Fagudolciak volcano, I decided to use the exact same threat rating score system which the U.S. Geological Survey utilizes for United States volcanoes. This scoring system takes into account the amount of nearby population, frequency of eruptions, how explosive eruptions can be, amount of nearby infrastructure, among other factors. I have calculated a score for all seven volcanoes which are on or can directly affect the Drekkenes Peninsula. Coming in as only a moderate threat volcano, we have the tourist-friendly Fagradolsviak volcano with a score of 43. This volcano would have been rated far lower if not for the fact that if we hadn't placed a specific lava barrier in 2021, a major road and several structures likely would have been destroyed. All of Fagrolsviak's eruptions are completely effusive, with a volcanic explosivity index of a zero. In contrast, the Reckoners volcano is classified as a very high threat volcano with a score of 158. Not only have its past eruptions directly flowed into the site where Greenavik is today, but also one past eruption caused a heavy layer of ash to fall across much of the peninsula, including in the capital, Reykjavik. Eruptions from the Reckoners volcano generally have an explosive component to them, and one of its prior eruptions reached the volcanic explosivity index of a 4. While I am not expecting the next eruption to be that explosive, this possibility is a reminder that Reckoners is not a tourist-friendly volcano, so please stay away from it. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.